don't think I could have described it better than Manu just put it. He said, we've come round cute corner. From baby baboons to tiny weeny little warthog piglets. Oh, look at them. They are minute. There's about six of them wandering about. Oh, I want one. I don't, of course. I would never go and take one. But they are irresistible. Uh, females and their little ones. <laughs> oh. Little piglets, I would say, if I had to guess, maybe a month old. They're not very large at all. And of course, they spend the first few weeks of their lives tucked away in the den sites, in the little burrows under the ground. It's a dangerous world for a little snack like that, especially when there are leopards and lions around. But those are adorable. <laughs> Catherine, you say, so darling, these little babies. They are. They really are irresistible. Everybody loves a baby animal. There's not a single one that isn't cute. Everybody always says warthogs are ugly creatures. Not everyone. A lot of people say that warthogs are ugly creatures. I couldn't disagree more. I find them, even the adults, I find terribly endearing. Especially when they go trotting off with their tails high up in the air like little aerials. Look at them go. <laughs> I wonder what the world looks like from their perspective. <laughs> Imagine, I mean, they, they can barely, <laughs> barely see through the grass. No wonder, I mean, it really gives you a good idea of why, why warthogs run with their tails up. Because when they're running away from something and they need their piglets to follow, they need, <laughs> they've got to have something that sticks up. Oh, oh, run, 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 run. Panic. Panic stations. It's okay. Mom's chilled. Everybody's fine. Two different age groups, I think. Some are slightly larger than the others. That one at the back is minute. Um, so, Jake... Mara Bay, Mara's an interesting place because you've got two rainy seasons. So typically, in a place like South Africa, South Africa's got a very set seasonal difference. It's got a dry season and a wet season. And in those sorts of areas, you get a, a, a pretty much statistically all of the, the herbivores either have a strict breeding season where they give birth in the rainy season or they have a peak breeding season where most of the babies are born during the rainy season. The Mara is slightly different. Because there is a great deal of rain, there's food pretty much all year round, provided the rains have been good. Um, so there's not the... the there's not a strict schedule. You'll find that there's a slight peak towards the rainy seasons. And, of course, we're coming up to, in November, we're coming up to technically the time of year where there's a little bit more rain, the first of the rainy seasons, slightly shorter rainy season. So you'll find that there's a peak, but there's no set breeding schedule for the animals out here. The wildebeest, of course, is slightly different. During the migration, they'll go and they'll carve in Tanzania. But for the most part, and baboons, baboons don't have a strict uh, a, a breeding season at all. They'll breed all year round. So will lions. Oh, look at your little warts on your face. There's definitely a runt of the litter there. One that's much more, that one, that little chap at the back. Come on, keep up. Of course, those little beard sideburns meant to look like tusks. Heidi, um, I think so. I know that they are quite altricial. In other words, quite underdeveloped when they are born. I think they're born with their eyes closed, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think they do. It makes sense because they, they're a burrowing animal. Oh, what is that, Mum? These are furrier than we are. <laughs> Baboon's not having any of it. <laughs> That's 
too precious. Yay, friends! <laughs> and b b baby baboon also curious. What is this and can I play with it? <laughs> oh, and you know, just casually throwing some zebras into the mix as well. There go the little piglets. I want to reposition, but I want to just give it a moment so that they're not too close to the road, otherwise they're going to scatter in sheer panic. That was cool. Natural, innocent curiosity of baby baboons and baby bulldogs. Man, that was cute. Should we go see if we can sneak up a little bit closer? Don't want to disturb this peaceful scene. Set the engine run for a little bit. Especially for those piglets, they probably haven't encountered that many cars. 